Hi, welcome to today's video. If this is your first time joining us, I encourage us to please subscribe to the channel. Uh, in today's video, we'll be looking at the middle of the linked list algorithm. We are currently going through the late code patterns by Shen Prashad. Uh, the link is in the description. If you want to check it out for yourself. Uh, let's proceed now to the algorithm itself. The middle link, middle of the link list. Now basically the algorithm says given the head of a single linked list, we are to return the middle node of the linked list. And we are told that if there are two middle nodes, return the second middle. Okay. So we are given example here. So given one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we only have one middle, so three is what we are to return. But in a situation where we have one even numbers, so for example, we have three and four in the middle, it's to return the second middle, which is for not three, for example. And we are told that this the list can be between one to hundred. So we know that there will be at least one item in that particular uh link list, okay? And the values also range from one to a hundred. So Basically, that is what we have for this link list. So let's see how that looks like. So we have here our link list. Let me just draw them out. Let me draw that again. Four, five. Let's go even. Let's have an even and then let's one and one odd. Just to show us. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So basically, if we looked at the video we did last, the video on the link list cycle, we talked about the fast. And the slow pointer basically and you know so this is pointing to nothing to null this is null this is also pointing to null let me just have that out of the way one two three four five now if we looked at that slow pointer and fast and slow pointer we know that we know that this fast pointer was moving two steps and the slow pointer was moving one step it means that at the point at almost every point you know that where the two the two point the first pointer is will be double or almost double of where the single pointer is going or the, or the slow pointer is going. So for example, if both of them started here, and then this is uh one, two, three, four, five, six. We know that once this one goes one step and this faster one is going two step, at this point, this is at two, this is at one, see this is double of this. If this goes another step forward, this goes two steps forward. So this is at four and this is at two. When this goes forward to six, this will have just gone one step, which is at three. So you see, at every point, the first pointer is always one step. I mean, it's always half the size of uh, where the slow pointer is. So it means that when I have my first pointer, wherever my slow pointer is, is most likely where the middle is. So basically now, if we have our first pointer here, so let's say we have this is the first pointer and this is the slow pointer. So we have our slow pointer move one step. This is our slow pointer, but our first pointer will move two steps. So we have our first pointer here. We have our slow pointer again here. We have our first pointer again here. So this is our first pointer. We have but we can't, our first pointer cannot go anymore because the next place we go is going to be null. So let's, so let's say it, our first pointer has to stop here because if it moves again, it's going to be in the region of null. So we know that this is our slow, where we are slow. But you know, we are told that we should move, we should pick. So because here we have two in the middle, we are told to pick the second one, right? So it means that most likely what we'll do is we will still move our first pointer even if it's going to be null we move it two times and then we find out it is at null that's fine and then we can move our slow pointer so that we know that our slow pointer is going to be at the second middle 
same thing here let's look at when we have odd uh, so if this is fast and this is slow same thing this moves two steps and this moves one step this moves another two steps this move one step so you see the problem now is if i say i want to move this another two steps this is no right so so what we could do is that we can check if there is so for example in this one we see that our next our 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 first there was we had a next it's just that we didn't have the next after that next where this first was so we could use that to our advantage to say that when the where we are for example this first when the next is not no so for example the next year is not no so we moved but here the next is null so we can just stop there because you see if we wanted to just even though it's null if we go forward that will give us a problem because it means our this our our slow will have moved beyond the middle so it means that what we have to do is that our first we have to be sure that our first runner has a next that is not close to null i think that will be the trick that we have to use because if we don't have such a condition, it means that in this scenario also, for the odd number, it will move forward. And if it moves forward, for example, here, our slow will also move forward and that will not be what we are trying to achieve. So basically, it means that we will have to have this check as we keep going. So let's just see how it pans out in the code. So here, we have, as usual, our first runner and we have our slow runner so both of them are starting from the same point so while the first runner is not null and uh, you know we are also to we are, we are checking if the first runner the next is also not null the reason we are checking it is so that when we are we have an even number we can account for the second uh, value there it's because we want it to be the second middle number so when it's an even number we want it to account for that to move one step up but if it's an odd number we will not have a next so we do want to stop it basically that's why we have this condition added here so we just want to say our first runner is first runner that next that next and our slow runner is our slow runner that next okay so let's go back to the board and look at it so having moved moved so for example at this point we see that our first runner here our first runner here moves and we see that our slow runner on this other side so we see our first runner here moves its first runner also moves it moves and then when our first runner has gone into null we find out that our, our slow runner is pointing at the second middle. Here also, we see our first runner is at 3, it goes to 5, and then it stops there because the next is null. So we see our slow pointer is at 3, which is the middle. So it means that for us, wherever our slow pointer is, at the point where our first runner stops, whether it is that the next, uh, when, when the next is null or when the first itself is null because it has gone and to the next after uh, the one that was the next. So to be basically, I know that is a little bit confusing. So you know this is fast, this is the next, and the next of it will be null. So either it's in that situation or here where the next direct next is null, we know that our slow will stop at the middle or the second middle in the even, if it's an even uh, numbered uh, linked list. So it means that what we just need to do here is we know that at this point our slow runner is actually that node that is at the middle basically uh, so let's just run this and see okay so let's submit hopefully we don't run into issues yep and that is it so basically we just you see it's, it's quite simple when you can conceptualize this one runner is moving faster than the other runner. The speed of this runner is twice the speed of the other runner. So it makes sense that uh, at the end, 
the, the, it, it makes sense that the first one will get to the end twice the time. I mean, uh, twice. Uh, it makes sense that the first one we get to the end two times faster, meaning that at the time the fast runner is at the end, the slow runner will be at the middle, and that is what we have been asked to return the middle node. So basically, that's why we are returning the slow runner because at that point, the slow runner will be definitely at the middle. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. I want us to like, share. Let's drop a comment if we have any question and I will respond. Thank you and see you in the next video.